Listen, no matter how advanced you think you are, 99% of people watching this video have never heard or seen this secret Fire TV menu. And the best part is it works on every device, whether you have your Fire TV cube or even your Echo Show 15. You'll be able to get this secret menu that gives you a little bit more information about your device. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into things. Now, by now, all of you have heard of developer options, and that's just a menu that we can get by going into about clicking on Fire TV Cube or Fire TV Stick five times until it says you're a developer and up pops developer options. Now, this has a little bit of information, right? You can turn on ADB debugging which we need for a few different apps. And we can also install unknown apps, but that's that's actually not what we're here to talk about today, which is the interesting part. This is a secret menu that I have never seen before. Uh, and it gives you some new advanced information we're gonna be able to utilize in a few different ways. So in order to access this menu, it's actually pretty unique. So I'm gonna kind of show you right here. So you have your Fire TV stick remote. There's three buttons we're gonna use for this. We are gonna use the center okay button. That's right, that thing right there. We're gonna use this down button, the button that we used to move down, believe it or not. And then we're gonna use this menu button, which is the button with three lines right there, uh, horizontal. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the okay button and then like half a second after, you're going to press that down button. So let's bring that really close. So okay, down. And you're gonna see everything moving down super, super quick. So that's normal, that's what we wanna see. So that's step number one. Now you're gonna hold that down for around three seconds. It only has to be a few seconds. So let's do that right here. So hold down, down, it's gonna go. And then we're gonna press that menu button. And up pops developer tools menu 5.0. And it has a ton of cool stuff in here. We're gonna be able to utilize and check out. So starting with option number one, one is system x-ray. And I have found this to be the most useful tool. So I'm gonna briefly show it right now. And then I'm gonna show you after how you can utilize it a little bit more. So when we turn it on, it's going to give us all sorts of information about our device. It's gonna show you your memory. Now, obviously your memory is very important, whether you're using a cube or you're using a Fire TV stick. The more memory we have available, the better, right? Uh, and it's also gonna show you, you know, the RAM being used uh, depending on what device you're on. And it's gonna show you your network capabilities as well. So it gives you a few different bits of data. So while you're using different devices, whether it's, you can also see it shows the resolution and stuff as well. Uh, when you're using different apps, you're gonna be able to utilize this information to see if your device can actually handle things, if that makes sense. Now, besides the system x-rays, you also have advanced options. So advanced options, I got to move my head here a little bit, has some slightly different information on here. So if you look on this right hand side, advanced options shows, shows you a bunch of more nerdy stuff. So when you're in a streaming app, it'll show you the resolution, it'll show you the uh, frame rate. It will show show you the color standard being used. Same with for your audio. It will show you what's being utilized by that app and that your system is utilizing at the time, if that makes sense. So it, it gives you just more advanced options and more ways you can see what you're streaming when you're using it. So using that on a third party app could actually be really cool to see how your system reads it. So I'm gonna remove that menu for now because it's really not that interesting. So now when we go into launch configuration panel, this is where we can customize our top display up there. So you can see here, we can toggle on and off different parts of our display. So that's showing what our resolution is. We have the memory part here, which we can remove or add on. There's the network portion at the top there, right? It shows our SSID, it shows the, the actual value, the system, the amount being used. Our connected remote, we can remove that right there. Our sensor right there can be taken customized app. I don't know what that one actually does. And then of course we can change the positioning. So if you want it to be on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, or as I prefer right at the bottom there, easy to see, uh, you can do that as well. And then there's some advanced options here, such as multimedia or audio focus stack, um, which I don't really suggest playing with. I would just leave it, but definitely set yours up on the bottom. Now, a lot of these other ones are more for developers, such in record and share, which allows you to record metrics through a command line. Again, this is even too advanced for me. I don't really think any of you are going to need it. However, if you happen to be a developer and you make Android TV apps, hit me up because I'm looking to have a few made. So uh, maybe we can collab. 
But there's also a safe zone. This, this uh, option displays the overscan area of the screen. So you can see that right there. And then this one will enable developers options, right? And then developer row is something we really don't need to mess with. But developer options is that one we already checked out. Now, other than that, you can clear partner apps, which really won't affect you. Now, if we scroll way down, which I can't actually show you right now because it doesn't pop up. Uh, there's one more option which helps you to diagnose your speed of your device and also some advanced settings. So it will actually run a speed test through your current internet connection directly on your Fire Stick. So it's another great little menu. You can see we can run that right here. It's going to show us our network download speed, which is very important when you're streaming. You do want a very solid download rate, at least 100. Um, but anything higher is obviously a huge bonus. So there we go right there. You can see 262 megabytes per second download speed, Wi-Fi, extremely fast, exactly what we need. And then of course, we can also go to advanced here where it's gonna show us all sorts of information about our device, which is clearly pretty important. But that's it, just a little secret menu to get you started. Something else you didn't know you could do on your Fire Stick. Let me know down below if you knew about this before this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.